It's in Dindot. 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 I worked with a formidable South African novelist called Tando Polozana. Uh, he is a uh, Kosa man who has been through the initiation himself, and so the two of us were able to sort of bounce these stories, ideas, story ideas back and forth, and, and he filtered these ideas through his own experiences and what he knew of the of the ritual, and that's that's how the story sort of got together. Uh, so it was a way of, of keep, keeping a, a kind of a distance and, and, and always reminding myself and I think an audience that you know we we have some perspective in terms of what's going on here but we can never really know the extent of, of what goes on in these people's lives and, and what's good and right for these characters. Yeah. When it came to enacting the ritual and, and all of the kind of nuances surrounding that, uh, everybody involved was referencing uh, a first-hand experience. So that, in a way, allowed me to kind of open up the process a little bit in, in terms of not enforcing my own ideas, but allowing people to bring their own kind of shades and sensibilities to, to the experience. It, it entailed developing a real relationship of trust with especially uh, Nakani and Bongili, our two main actors. We spent a lot of time talking and discussing the, not just what was happening on screen, but, but the entire sort of history and, and backstory of, of this relationship. And I think that that really paid off. I think that, they, that there was a certain kind of chemistry and history that you feel between these characters, uh, even though what is being explained or expressed might be quite sparse, what is felt is, is quite deep and layered. For me, the film is very much about this kind of unide un unattainable idea of masculinity and, and this feeling that m I think all men, not just queer men, sit with of not ever being able to be good enough or to kind of live up to some sort of masculine ideal. So that feeling of, of sitting on, like emulating something but always feeling somewhat inadequate, I think is at the heart of the story and it's not just a queer experience but it says something about masculinity that I think is, is universal. <laughs> Hey Golden Bears, it's Katarina Church here at Memorial Stadium with Ross Bowers.